Welcome to Booze in the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a little cocktail called The Vacation, aka The Vacation Martini. Having said that, it's not necessarily a martini, but it's served in a martini glass. And you could originally find this cocktail at a little place called the Merck Bar on Mercer Street, and it was owned by John McDonald, and that was in Soho in the UK. Now, having said that, this place has closed down since then, and I'm able to actually reference the cocktail in this, the uh, cocktail, uh, the Bartender's Bible, the 11th edition by Simon Difford. And you can actually find this on page 465 right here. Now, having said that, you can actually adjust this cocktail a couple of different ways. And you can obviously tell I reference this book for a lot of things. But when I say a lot of different ways, you can adjust the color and the final flavoring of the cocktail. And you'll see what I mean when we actually make our way all the way through the uh, video. So stick with me because I'm just rambling a little bit and we're gonna get this going. So the first thing you wanna do is grab yourself your shaking glass, but you also need another glass. And the reason you need the other glass is I'm going to prep one of my ingredients. First, in this case, we're going to prep an egg white. So we're gonna crack one open, separate the whites into the glass, and then use a knife to break up the yolk. Once you've done that, make sure that you clean your knife. You should always clean anything that you've used to work with egg. Put this off to the side. And the reason I actually broke this down, it'll actually make it easier to measure out in a smaller quantity. Now, move that over, grab your knife that you've already done. And what we'll do is we will just cut a lime in half. And then what we'll do is we will squeeze a quarter of an ounce or seven and a half mils. Once you've actually squeezed in your quarter of an ounce of lime juice, uh, what you wanna do is grab yourself a little bit of pineapple juice. Now I'm using a pure pressed pineapple juice, meaning there's no sugar added. It's just straight from the pineapple juice directly into the cart. We don't need a lot of this. We need three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half mils. Your third ingredient is vanilla vodka. Now what I do is I use vodka that sits with vanilla bean in it and you can leave the vanilla bean in as long as you want uh, to get that level of flavor that you want. And what I have a tendency to do is I just keep upping the vodka and it actually keeps and maintains the same level of uh, vanilla flavor as long as you let it sit for a while. But we don't need a lot. I don't know why I just spun that, but we do need an ounce and a half for 45 milliliters. Your fourth ingredient is coconut rum. In this case, I'm using Malibu. Now, Simon Difford's recipe actually calls for Malibu. However, if you wanna use something different, you can. Just remember that the change in alcohol level will make this a little bit less sweet. Now, you don't need a lot of this. We only need half an ounce for 15 mils. Your fifth ingredient is going to be egg white. Now you could use a vegan alternative like aquafaba if you wanted. However, I'm sticking with the original recipe. And like I said earlier, we've already pre-prepped this, so it'll make it easy to pour. And we need a total of a quarter of an ounce or seven and a half mils. Now you're probably wondering why we're using so little egg white. Part of the reason is the pineapple juice itself will have a tendency to foam up when you shake it. So what you wanna do is grab a bunch of ice and put it in the glass. So what we're going to do is do the wet shake first, then we're going to do the dry shake. So you wanna make sure that, you know, this is on pretty good. And you're gonna shake it for a good five to 10 seconds, really hard. All right, so once you've done that, you wanna just strain the ice out of this because we're actually going to give this another bit of a dry shake. So grab yourself uh, a glass here. We'll just get rid of the ice. And then we'll shake this and this will help to emulsify the drink just that little bit more. And you could sort of do it in the opposite direction if you want, but I'm following the recipe as it's stated in the book. Oh, so shake it hard for a good five seconds. That'll get you exactly where you need to be and grab your glass of choice. In this case, I'm using a martini glass as per the name, Vacation Martini. <sighs> a little out of breath here. So what you wanna do is just fine strain this into the glass. All right, so you're gonna get a really, really nice separation for the head here. 
And this is going to take a moment to really separate nicely. But you're not going to get a super thick head, you're gonna get a nice, gorgeous layer. Having said that, I'm now missing the next ingredient. And I'm going to use a little bit of blue curacao just because the recipe book and the picture shows the blue curacao. However, like I said earlier, you could use any liqueur because it'll be heavy enough that it'll sink directly to the bottom. Now you don't need a lot. You need a little over a quarter of an ounce. And what we'll do is we will just pour it directly into the center. Now you will get yourself a nice little blue dot on there. Uh, again, you could use something like a creme de cassis. That'll give you a nice chunk of red. If you want something that's melon flavored, maybe some Midori, something that'll give you either a green or a red layer. This will also adjust the flavor and adjust the sweetness to something that you find fits your taste buds. Oh, that's surprisingly really good. You get that vanilla, you get that pineapple, you get a little bit of the citrus notes in there and you get a smooth mouth feel. Absolutely fantastic to look at and it tastes great and it's not overly sweet. If you like layered cocktails, take a look after the recipe card right up here.